it's Robbie from Southern California and today I'm going to show you how I've been starting some of my seeds in the house as well as collecting some volunteers that were already started in the garden and also doing cuttings and this is a fun way and it works great and I hope I can give you some ideas but you know what like I always say take something I'm doing and tweak it to where it's going to work for you I'm in the recycling if we've got cans this is great. I'm going to show you how to use cans. I'm going to show you how to use flower pots without holes. I'm going to show you how I set up, like maybe you've got a lot of coffee cups. Like here's a coffee cup. You know, you've got so many people give you a coffee cup with, you know, as a gift. And then you've got a cupboard full of coffee cups. What are you going to do with them? And even this one. Ooh, this one's like 40 years old. This is an old drink, uh, a kid's drink that they had. And I have one left. And I've got a plant growing in here. This is so easy and so much fun. I've been doing it everywhere and I just love it. I've got them all over my kitchen. I've got them all over the house because you don't need to put them on a tray. What you need, let's say, is a coffee cup, okay, or a can. And the other thing you need are plastic bags. Now, you don't need the plastic bags that have the zip top. See, these have this heavy zip top. I would not use it for this project of growing seeds for multiple reasons. Number one, they're three times the cost and you don't need it. And uh, number two, it's actually going to get in the way. I would get the cheap old fold top. See, they come in, a, you can get like a whole box for, I saw them at the dollar store for a dollar. So you can get them at the grocery store, probably can get 300 for $2. Check your grocery store. The full tops work the best. And all you need, I'm trying, let's, you can even use fancy, if you got fancy glasses. Let's see, I'm hoping you can see this. Let's move some of this stuff out of the way. So you can see what I'm doing. It's so easy. If you don't care about the glass, if you don't care about it, let's say, let's, you know what, let's say it's a can. You don't care, and you don't care if water gets in there and it builds up hard water, then this is all you need. You need one bag and I poke a hole in it. You can use anything, a knitting needle, uh, a stick, anything. You're gonna poke a hole. You're gonna put it in your cup. You're gonna fold it over and you're gonna fill it with soil and you're gonna plant your seed, whatever, and you can water it and you can sit this anywhere because it's not gonna leak. These don't have any holes in it. Now, if this was a coffee cup you really like and you want to use it someday, then you're going to use two bags. And you can do this with your favorite china or anything if you want. If you don't want the bottom to get, you know, hard water stain or something, and you may want to use it for something else, then go ahead and do it this way. And it's just this simple. And don't throw away the bag because later on you could use the bag again. You put in a bag without a hole, no hole. You just put it in. Then you take the one that you put the hole in and you put it inside that bag. Now, any of the water, when you're watering your plants, will be going into the second bag. And you, you won't have to have any problems with your good coffee cup if you wanted to. As far as a can, we throw these things away when we use canned foods. I know you do too. So when you're done with it, you know, when, when planting season comes to move the plants outside, then all you have to do is throw your can away. Because it's going to be kind of icky inside and you won't want to use it unless you want to save it for next year or I mean geez you could do cuttings and all that all year but that's all there is to it the other thing is let's say you're going to go plant this it's time to go outside there are two ways you can do this number one it's this easy instead of pushing plants out and are you disturbing the roots you're going to lift the plant out now your plant's got all the roots growing around here. You have two things you can do. You could either just take the bag off. It's that easy because the roots are going to be all inside the soil because it's not going to grow onto the plastic bag. You could cut it if it was too twisted, you know, up and you wanted to trim the bag off. Or if you've got cutworms, cutter worms, you know, insects out there that get to a lot of your young plants, what you would do at that point, what I would do is leave it in the bag. Now this is not my paper cup system, and you all know my paper cup system, and this is something different where I don't take it out of the paper cup. That's another video. 
that I plant cup and all. You don't want to plant a plastic bag in the ground without doing this first. I would take a scissors and I would cut the bottom off. Or at least most of it. it doesn't even have to be all of it. I don't want to, let's see, I could do, you know what, let's do it here and I'll show you how it's done. Let me just move everything real quick. You cut the bottom off and you will plant it, leaving it in the plastic bag. Now, the reason you would do that, let's say you chose to do this, and hopefully this has got enough root, you just pull the bag down a little bit, cut it, and that's it. You don't have to do much more. The plant, once you put it in the ground, the plant will start sending its roots out into your ground or container. If you're container gardening, it will send the roots out into the container. And then as the plant gets bigger, I would then at that point take a scissors or tear off the rest of the plastic bag or just yank it out. It will start to deteriorate a little bit and get rid of it. But in the meantime, when you've got this in the ground planted, you kind of take the plastic bag and push it up like that. So when it's in the soil, what happens at night is a lot of those cutworms come and they will just, they travel, your roly polies, all of them, they'll travel and they'll go straight into the young new plant and they'll just chew through it. With the plastic bag, they don't know what it is. So they're gonna go around it. You still may lose plants. There's nothing perfect, but this has really helped. They'll go around it. And then when the plant gets bigger, it won't matter. And you just rip the rest of the plastic bag off. And that's all there is to it. It is that simple and that easy. I love the plastic bag method because you can sit your plants anywhere. You can enjoy them during the day, you know, and put them in the windowsill, anything you want. You don't have to even worry about the windowsill getting stained or dirty because there's no holes on here. And you can use your favorite cup. See, I've got even a paper cup in this one. You, these have no holes, these little flower pots that I made with hummingbirds on it. So I could either put a paper cup with my paper cup system in there, or I could use the same thing here and use it in here. And then when it's ready to go outside, I just pull it out and do, like I said, either take it out of the bag, like you would be if you bought it from the store in pots, you would push them out and plant them or leave them in the bag, cut the bottoms off and then put it in the soil, kind of fluff this up a little bit to give it a little extra protection until the plants get big. That's pretty much it. One more tip. Oh, I love these. I found these at the dollar store. I'm doing some root uh, rooting here of rosemary because I want to get some rosemary in the containers. I have a lot of rosemary growing around the property. Gary likes buying a lot of blueberries. We don't grow blueberries yet. They come in plastic bags. You don't throw these bags away. Same thing. Cut these bags. You'll, you'll get a one-time use out of it. Use this. Use the same bag you got. Make a hole on the bottom if there's no holes in it. You can make a hole. You're just going to make sure that the water can drain. You don't want your plants to have no drainage. They have to have drainage. And there you go. You put your soil in there. You plant your plant, and when it's time to put your plant outside, you're ready to go. So you can even use cute little containers, any coffee cups, fancy glasses. This all lifts out when the time is right. Try to get something that's not shaped like this. This could take a little work to get out, but you want something as straight as possible. The other thing too, and I love using coffee cups or anything that's got a, more of a taper. So keep in mind, you will be struggling to get this out a little bit. But when it's got a taper the opposite way, this way, it will lift right out. There'll be no work. Cans are easy too. Some of them with the pull top have a little lip. So you'll have to just kind of jiggle it out a little bit. But it'll work. Containers like this, you know, we have a cheese container that we get. This will lift right out. This has got a celery start I've got in here. Look at that. All I have to do is take this outside. I'm not disturbing the roots and I can plant it, take it out of the plastic bag. And like I said, if you want to protect the plant, actually this is not celery, this is flat leaf parsley. If you want to protect the plant, just cut the bottom off the plastic bag and plant it right there. That plastic bag is so thin, later on you can just tear it and get rid of it out of your garden. So I hope I've given you some ideas. You got a question? 
feel free to ask. Don't forget, the most important thing is you want drainage. And even if it's a cup that you like, when the bottom one has no holes, make sure that the one that you are planting in does have holes so it can drain. And remember, if it gets full of water and you've got too much water in there, you're just gonna tip it out or lift the plant out and get rid of the water if it's too much. I have found that I don't have to water as often using like, here's plastic cups. These are just plain old plastic cups. And again, from some fruit or vegetables, this is just a plastic bag. You could use that, it's so easy. And you really will find that stuff grows really good because it retains the water really good. You don't have to water as often. So I hope I've given you ideas. This has been a blast. And of course, there's always the good old fashioned flower pot sitting on my windowsill, dropping seeds in and just growing like that. Of course, I've got to dig them out and hope that I don't disturb the roots too much. With this, you're not disturbing anything. It's just popped out and off you go. Cut the plastic bag if you have to. Slip it out of the plastic bag if it will slip out easily or leave it in the plastic bag and cut the bottom. So that's it. Have a great day and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye.